my lovelies and welcome back. Today I'll be playing with Dyson hair dryer dupes. I have two of them, so we're gonna be comparing them to the OG, the Dyson supersonic hair dryer. Let's begin. So we have three very different technologies. Starting with the first one, which is the cheapest. This one retails for $32.99 on Amazon right now. And this one is like the OG hair dryer. There's nothing too fancy about it, but it's super powerful. It comes in at 2000 watts, which is incredibly powerful. It just has three different, three different settings. You have the cold setting, you have the low setting, and then you have the hot setting. Very interesting. You can fold it. You can take this off, put it back in, and I like it. Moving on to the second technology, and this is the second expensive hair dryer. This is the Tyneco. Tineco, Tineco. This one comes in at 299 US dollars, and this has smart heat sensor technology. So what it does is it has this ring right here on the outside where it's going to detect how much moisture you have in your hair and it's going to stay red and then it's going to turn blue once it's not detecting any more moisture. It also comes with an app, which is very fascinating. And another thing, it's magnetic. So it's also copying the Dyson magnetic little attachments, which is really nice. I love the colorway, I think it's beautiful. This is the Sangria color. They have another one, which is Mocha, but it's really cool. And this is more of like this automatic hair dryer for you. It's basically going to do everything for you. You basically have just an on off button right here. And then on the sides, you have a max or an auto and then cool setting. And then the OG, the Dyson. It has so many amazing settings. It has an airflow setting where you control how much air is coming out of the tool and then the heat setting. But what's really unique about this is a supersonic technology. It's very stable and it's extremely fast and powerful. Let's do this. I'm just gonna start blow drying some of my sections and really see what's the most powerful, what's the most comfortable to use, things like that. Let's do this. Okay, something special. What I'm seeing is with this hair dryer, you just have a tiny little fan right here in the back, and then all of the coils are just throughout the hair dryer. You can see that. So I feel like most of the wattage is going into heating the hair dryer instead of the airflow. I mean, I, I personally like when dryers have strong airflow. See, that's, I'm the same way. I'd rather have it really intense airflow instead of like super hot and very little airflow. And it's not even getting that hot. Like the brush is not even that warm at all. But I mean, it gets the job done. It's just, it's very slow at its pace. It does not even sound like a 2000 watt hair dryer. Interesting. The bioionic, that one is insane. That one looks hard. All right, let's move on to the second one. Let's move on to the smart technology. <laughs> wow, it sounds nice too. Interesting. See, it's using its sensory technology. I'm pointing at the wall. First, it said there's like no moisture, then it was a little moisture, and then wait, hold on. Let's go into the safety mode because you see how it's turned on, but it was like barely working. Let me read the mode that it said it, that's in. That means out of detecting distance, it's entering into energy saving state, which is really cool. I like that. You know what I mean? It's pretty nice. Let's turn this on. I'm gonna turn on max. Huh? Red means moisture? Yes, moisture and then blue is, it says, 
It's dr well, it's in gentle state, which means it doesn't need that much. It's gentle airflow and temperature. That means there's no moisture detected, but it's still going to dry the hair if it is. So it's a little bit mixed mix right now. Wow, that's very powerful. I like it. It's like a good thing and a bad thing because it's so powerful, but I feel like there's still some spots where it's wet, where it's just kind of blowing the hair out. But the thing is, I'm on the max setting. You can go on the auto setting as well, well where it's not gonna be as intense. So let's try that out. I think it's honestly, there's probably like two temperature settings. It's either hot or low. Does that make sense? I don't think it's like so smart where it's actually going to like 400 degrees Fahrenheit and that's like, oh no, let's go to 350. <laughs> Who knows, maybe it is, but it's not actually giving us the temperature gauge, which usually most hair dryers don't. It's usually just a hot, a medium, and then a low temperature setting. But this is fascinating because it's not giving you unnecessary heat. I'm gonna try an auto. That's max, that's auto. So it's not detecting anything. See, it's not as intense in air once it's auto. Wow, that's really using a lot of energy. The lights are flickering. It's a little damp back here, but I didn't reach the hair dryer here. Wow, y'all, this is fascinating. So with the Max, it doesn't actually change the flow setting, like the airflow, it just changes the temperature setting. I feel like it's not extremely smart because I feel like still the hair is a little damp once it turns blue, but I feel like it's probably wants it to be a more of a gentle heat on the hair instead of blowing a full force, which I really appreciate. On the left side, we're gonna keep Dyson. On the right side, we're gonna keep Tineco. I'm not even sure how you pronounce it. This thing is heavy though. <laughs> that's, that's the one thing, it's heavy. And I'm gonna keep it on max just because if I keep it on auto, it does weird stuff with the lights. It keeps flickering them. So I'm gonna keep it on max. Yeah, see, it's like saying it's blue, but it's still quite damp. Whew, wow, that's hot when it's red. <laughs> Wow, that's hot when it's red. But it's only red for a little bit. I feel like it's doing that on purpose. Cause then it'll like burn your scalp. Kind of like the rough one. So I'm gonna go on the Dyson on the highest airflow and the highest heat setting. such a much faster job. It's a lot quieter, but the it's it's so much stronger the way it blows. Wow. I'm gonna use this a little bit. I'm gonna do it on the highest. Yeah, it's just, it's not comparable. It's not as enjoyable. It definitely works, you guys. It definitely works, but it's just, it's not as strong, even though it says it has 2000 watts, which I'm not sure where it is. I'm gonna continue with this versus this. Okay, so overall, with the cheapest hair dryer, this reminds me of those Revlon one-step styler knockoffs <laughs> that 
use my face, use many other people's faces that don't even recommend those products. They're just cheap, they're knockoffs, and they're just not great. I understand that it's $32.99. It's just not a great hair dryer by any means. It's not fast, it's not powerful, it's not that warm, not, not that hot, and it's just, I don't recommend this. There are so many other great hair dryers under $50 that you could just go at your Alta, go to Target, go to any drugstore and pick up. But I just, I can't recommend this to you guys. So from this one to one, they're both very expensive and they both do very different things. So starting with this one, this is a very smart hair dryer. I think this is not for everybody. I think if you want a very quick and powerful hair dryer, this might not be for you. And let me explain why. <laughs> you guys saw it. It was red for ice, I would say, very, very little amount of time and then it would turn blue. I think it's turning blue just because it wants to be gentle and like it says, when it's blue, this is the setting. It's a gentle airflow and temperature. This has no moisture detected, which I think is false because when it's blue and I can still feel my hair, I can still feel that it's damp, which which means there's still moisture. So I think this is good for people that are very conscious of their hair health. They want a powerful hair dryer, but it's also going to keep the integrity of the hair, which is not gonna to be too hot of an airflow, but it's still gonna have a powerful airflow. And it does come with different attachments. It comes with this one right here, which is more of a, more of a focused, really strong, powerful flow. And then it comes with a diffuser as well. So if you have curly or kind of wavy hair, comes with a diffuser and it also comes with a smaller one, but a little bit more of a wider opening. And this they're saying, this is also for a smoothing nozzle. It's a softer, gentler airflow to dry and smooth the hair. And then the one that I was using, this is a styling concentrator. It's a precise airflow directed at specific areas to style and quickly dry the hair, which I think is really awesome. All of these three come with a hair dryer. So that's, I think that's really neat. And it has some kind of app that you can connect to your hair dryer, which is very fascinating. <laughs> and then the Dyson hair dryer, this right here, this is just a power horse. This is gonna do everything that you need for you. It's very powerful, it's very hot, but you can control the airflow and you can control the heat setting as well, separately. So if I want a super high airflow, but very low heat, I can do that. But if I want a super high heat and low airflow, I can do that, which I think is really nice. It's one of the few hair dryers that allows you to do that. There's a reason why so many professionals, so many people at home love this hair dryer. It just does everything incredibly well and it dries your hair really quick. But like I said, it gets very hot and it's very intense airflow. So you have to kind of manage it to your hair preference or what, to, what you prefer. Please let me know what your favorite hair dryer is and why you like it. But for now, thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.